Hello YouTube people, I got lots of requests from you to do a review on this watch next, so here it is. I'm also wearing the same watch but stainless steel version so I'll do a little bit of visual comparison later on. And they both have the same movement. And I already have this watch for over a year now, so I'll give you feedback on the movement, how good it is. So how does it run? Face down it runs minus 5 seconds, 0 0.5 beat error. Face up it runs, well, basically the same minus 4 seconds and 0 0.5 error, which I think is great. This watch is still new, it still needs to be run in a little bit, so I believe it will start running a little bit faster over the time. But anyway, I'm really happy with the results. So how about my experience with this movement over a year? At first I had a problem that the rotor was making very grindy noise, so I had to remove the rotor to lubricate those rotor bearings. And since then I have no problem like this, it runs great and doesn't make any grindy noise. And this golden watch which has the same movement doesn't have that grindy noise, thankfully, and I don't need to fix anything. So most watches as far as I know start engaging date wheel at around 9 p.m. Not this one however, even at 10 p.m. no movement on a date wheel, 11 p.m. nothing, 11 and a half, 11.45, nothing. So watch closely right now, watch closely. How many watches do you know that flips the date so close to 12? This is amazing movement, I really like it. And it looks nice. The bracelet, it looks amazing. I can clearly see how this could be the major point why would you want to buy this watch because it looks kind of like some kind of a jewelry. Amazing. Uh, two problems for me with this bracelet is that I tried wearing this stainless steel uh, version watch as my daily with this bracelet and it didn't go well because as for a daily watch this bracelet is a little bit too rough around the edges for a daily watch should be a little bit softer but occasionally putting this watch on this bracelet is just fine it's not that bad another problem is my personal uh, you see this style of a bracelet with butterfly clasp is supposed to be worn loose as far as i know hanging off the wrist on the arm and i just don't like that feeling i i, I like my watch sitting tight on the wrist but i can't find adjust this because it doesn't have micro adjustments, so it's either too tight or too loose, as it's supposed to be too loose, but as I told you, I, I just don't like the feeling, the watch hanging freely on my wrist. Another little problem with these bracelets is that links could be a little bit tight and they can sometimes they can stuck a little bit, but I don't see that as a big deal because I would rather take a bracelet with a links that are connected very tightly and gonna loosen up over time rather than the bracelet which has links that are too loose. This bracelet and this bracelet, they're very well built. They feel tight, they, they don't wobble too much. I mean, it feels solidly built, doesn't feel cheap. And you guys ask me, do I really swim with this watch? And I actually do because it has screw down case back and screw down crown and I have lubricated the o-ring and even lubricated the crown and I've been swimming with this watch in a sea, in a lake, in a jacuzzi, i even been to the sauna with this watch and it hasn't fogged up on me even once. But I mean I don't want to be responsible for your actions, be responsible for your watch. So I don't want to encourage this kind of behavior. I just give you a little advice before you do that. Make sure you lubricate the o-ring and the crown because you're not sure if people in China have done that for you. <laughs> don't be so sure so lubricate those things and you might be good but do that with your own responsibility. Anyway, technical things aside, those things are not the major reason why we buy watches like this. Uh, we buy G-Shocks for technical reasons, but watches like this we buy with emotion because we really want them, because we really like how they look like. And I'm, I'm telling you, that's a stainless steel version. I told you several times, it looks like some kind of a jewelry. It's one of the best looking watches I ever seen. This one is, is, is the same, it's also that good. Yeah, it's golden watch, so it's probably not perfect for every day as the stainless steel version, but for special occasions or sometimes when you just have that golden itch, 
this watch is amazing and this bracelet and everything and it looks so good in the evening in the dark it just pops out and it's so alive so alive this watch so yeah overall I, I really I'm really happy with this watch I do strongly recommend this watch if you want something like this check it out perfect size perfect proportions for a golden watch in my opinion Anyway, where I gonna place it on my website thomaswatchables.com where I rate watches in the different tier lists. <laughs> Obviously it's a keeper, it's a keeper. Wonderful watch. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.